So this week's build update is going to be on the wings and the elevator. So this week I, I had a good week. Um, I finished up the elevator. I'd had most of it done for a while. Uh, I got it connected up to the horizontal stabilizer and uh, that looks like a dent. I saw this picture and I went back and checked. It's just funky glare. Um, but uh, got that finished up. It is a challenging piece. It's big. It's got moving parts. Uh, that trim tab just gave me a lot of hate. Um, I just couldn't get it to, to go like I wanted to. Um, but uh, it's done. It's put on the wall and we moved on. This is the bottom of the right wing. I got it clecoed and riveted into place. Uh, and then uh, I shifted over, flipped the wing, and now this is the inside of the right wing. Uh, I'm prepping to pull the wire and uh, put the top skin on and uh, made me a little nervous off to say uh, you get worried about putting the top skin on and sealing everything out and not being able to change anything. But uh, we moved forward. I, I took some pictures just sort of documenting everything after I got the wires done on both the left and the right wing. But I'm pretty happy how everything turned out. Uh, my overkill corrosion protection, I got the Allodyne. Uh, the skin is a uh, good two-part epoxy primer, and uh, I think everything turned out pretty well. Um, so this is after I pulled the wire. Again, using that C-channel, it just really secures everything really well. Uh, it's not going, That wire is not going anywhere. Um, you're not going to get it out either. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it, once the wing is, that, that top skin is on, that wire is in there because you can't get to it. Um, and it, I use some little... Uh, uh, epoxy down some little zip tie holders there. Uh, but this is, uh, the bottom skin is riveted. Uh, the leading edge skin is on and, uh, you can see here, I did the rivets, uh, on the trailing edge. They're solid rivets. And th that was based on a tech tip from Midwest Sky Sports. I had seen elsewhere someone else was doing this instead of cutting down a hundred rivets, um, using the solid rivets is definitely absolutely the way to go. It was so easy. Uh, you got to spend a little money to buy this uh, crimper and you got to buy the, the rivets were not expensive. It's the crimper. Uh, but once you set up the, the squeezer, I think actually is the name. Uh, once you get the squeezer set up, it's so easy and it uh, looks good and it's better than uh, cutting rivets in half. So then I moved on to the right wing. I'm using this, uh, super fill from polyfiber to fill in all the rivet heads. Um, it's a, it's a two to one mix by weight. Um, but I think this stuff's pretty good. It's very highly recommended online. Uh, the, the RV crowd uses it for all sorts of stuff and uh, it's been around for a long time. Um, but you use it a little, I've got an Amazon scale, you do it by weight. Uh, and then I'm putting it in a syringe. Um, Again, this little tip from the RV builder crowd is a six by six glossy bathroom tile. Uh, I got it at Lowe's for 35 cents. And uh, I just mix the epoxy on top of it. Um, it gives you a good solid base for stirring. Um, and, uh, and then when you're done, I just razor bladed it off, put a couple drops of acetone and wiped it clean. I can use it again and again. Uh, so this, I got the wires in place. This is the left wing. So again, I use those little epoxy zip tie holders, got everything in that center C channel uh, secured. Um, and, uh, and then the, did the pedo. That was a little bit of work to get all that, the, the wiring connections connected. Uh, I used basically the tip that Evan recommends for mounting the regulator. It's just a couple pieces of C channel with some uh, riv nuts. Uh, missing a couple connectors for the airlines to the pedo itself. And you can see there I used some tank sealant to seal up around the pedo. Uh, it was a little air gap and a little bit of movement, just a little bit. So I thought that would cut down on vibration and seal up that area. Uh, and then here I'm just sort of showing the airlines moving back and then uh, the wiring harness uh, coming out. Uh, again, this is uh, the, the harness from... Midwest panel builders. So they build a nice rig with a connection there that just, it just connects right into the side of the plane once you pull the other side of the harness in. So anyway, um, I got to wait for that pedo connector so I can cut down and bend the pedos and then I'm done with the, uh, I can go ahead and skin the right wing or excuse me, the left wing. But that's it for this week. Um, hope all, everybody's well and uh, we'll talk to you again next week.